Hello everybody, my name is Bob, and we're playing From the Depths. Uh, now, I'm a little bit groggy because I was uh, up all night. Why was I up all night last night? Uh, you may ask, well, I was playing this. Uh, so, I have a few new uh, designs to show you. Uh, next time, I'm thinking that we are going to actually start the camp campaign. But, um, I want to make sure that I had a, a good stable of uh, well-tested designs uh, before I actually started. Uh, this is just a, a simple airplane uh, uh, to use as uh, early in the game uh, as a runabout, and also it has a uh, spawner on it, so I can spawn uh, vehicles like like uh, this vehicle, in fact. Uh, so that's just a simple airplane. Doesn't even have an AI on it. Doesn't have any weapons. It's just just an airplane. Um, this, on the other hand, is let me uh, let me transfer to the Sea Hund. This is the Sea Hunt. It's, it's uh, roughly based off of um, uh, a, a World War II German design. Basically, with just a very small submarine with a torpedo strapped on it. Or actually, two tor torpedoes strapped on it. But um, uh, you get the idea. Oh, nope. I need to. Do I need to release this or something? Here, let's bring it to the surface so we can get a better look at it. Uh, so this is a very small, um, and relatively inexpensive submarine. Uh, basically, has as few parts as I can get away with ha not happen on it, um, more or less. Uh, and it only has two torpedoes, but these are big Mahungan badass old torpedoes. These are, uh, yeah, what, what one of these will do do uh, serious harm. Uh, so uh, they are good torpedoes, but basically it, it's. Um, it's just a really minimalistic, small submarine. Uh, let me s see if we can see some of the innards. The innards. It's got a really small gas engine. Uh, that that thing launching there uh, is a uh, sonar boy because um, it's hard to get good quality targeting if you're just using passive sonar, which this thing only uses passive so sonar as far as its own uh, sensors go. Um, so, in order to get good radar acquisition of the targets, uh, it, it launches um, uh, these things, which are uh, radar boys. Basically, just just a tiny little, not even a missile, launched out, and it's designed to float uh, on when it hits the water, and provide with uh, the ship with radar data. Here's the very limited sensors it has. Uh, it has a uh, wireless snooper. Uh, and it has a passive sonar. The idea here is that if it doesn't, ha if the enemy doesn't have active sonar, it should not be able to know that this thing is here because it's got no, no wireless on it. It's all direct, direct uh, hard, hard line hookup. Here, I'll show you the. Uh yeah, the uh, the uh, uh, the hard hard wiring. For the um, a computer goes like this, 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 and then up here to the, the so passive sonar, down here, over here to the uh, missile controller, uh, and this uh, launches the missiles. And it's also got uh, mines, because um, I, I really enjoy mines. So it's got mines and these two torpedoes. That's it. Probably could squeeze another torpedo on there, but what the hell. The torpedoes are, uh, and all the, the gantries and shit are expensive, so I don't want to go overboard. And that's the Sea Hund. It's a very small conning tower here. Alright, let's, let's spawn in something else that I've been working on. Uh, this is called the PT-109 uh, because um, uh, I originally th conceived of it as just a simple um, patrol boat with launch with launching some uh, torpedoes. It kind of grew out of hand, uh, but um, 
it's a reasonable vessel regardless. So bring that in. There it is. Actually, there's one more thing I want to show you about the uh, the the Sea Hunt, which is uh, it has these um, uh, Hellblade spinners on it. The reason for that is my submarines don't stay submerged unless they're actually moving, and so this actually causes it to move slightly all the time. So so the um, uh, so the hydroplanes have or the uh, hydrofoils have some grab, and they can keep the vessel at least mostly under the surface. So that's that's what I'm doing with that. All right, here's the um, uh, PT 109, which is a little bit large for a uh, for a PT boat, but um, here it is. Uh, it's um it's actually got a pretty uh, cool design with the uh, uh, how I deal with like the ammo storage. Um, do I need to go into I need to go into build view and hit that? Okay. It's got two separate ammo vaults. So if one of them gets blown up, uh, the other one is uh, okay. Uh, so that's a, it's a pretty des durable design, and I also designed it to, to be kind of a, a, a bullet spongy type type of vehicle, uh, so that it can sta sit sit and take the damage, uh, while some of my stealthier and um, uh, more offensive craft uh, lay in the uh, missiles and torpedoes. So that's the PT-109. Let me see where. Uh, where's the Sea Hun going? Oh, that's fine. Uh, it's got a couple wonky little guns up here. I had to put a physical barrier to keep it from actually turning around and blowing itself up. Because <laughs> apparently these uh, these auto cannons they don't respect friendly fire. They're, they're, they'll just blow it. So they'll blow blow their own stuff up. Um, okay, so let me see what else we got. Had a couple relatively unsuccessful vehicles. Oh, I want to bring in the uh, resource barge because uh, I want to uh, actually see if I've got everything on it that I need. Because uh, I'm going to use this to, to replace the starter fortress when I'm uh, when I start the campaign mode. So, and it actually has few, uh, fewer resources uh, needed to build it than it does than the uh, actual um, starter fortress does. Uh, so um, that's pretty good, and it's fairly durable. It's actually more durable than the starter fortress is. Because it's got a lot of uh, this uh, lightweight alloy stuff. Uh, it's got a strategic antenna. Oh, it's, it's all it will it will I can't show sure what it does on the in the the uh, sandbox anyway. Uh, it's got a couple guns. Uh, it's got four guns. It's got the uh, resource miners. It won't do anything here because it's in a resource zone and it's in the sandbox. Uh, okay, so we got the tractor beam. Oh, and the uh, vehicle blueprint spotter. Excellent. And what I was actually curious about is, does it have a uh, spawn point on it? Yes, it does. Okay. As you can see, I, last night I was busy. Um, that's why I, I didn't get to bed until 5 a.m. This audio is still too fucking loud. Alright, so uh, in this front room I got some batteries, I got some repair bots, I got the uh, AI, and then if I go down a level, there's the ammo containers. Uh, but it is, uh, <laughs> you might think it's a bad idea to have the AI uh, sitting on top of all that ammo, but uh, the ammo is actually double shielded. So it's, um, it has two le levels of, of um, metal, uh, metal uh, around it. So it's, uh, it's pretty well protected.
and this is what? I don't know what the hell I built here. Beats the fuck out of me. Maybe anti torpedoes. I'm guessing that's anti -tor anti torpedoes. Well, I can tell for sure if it's on a uh, control block. Yeah, it is. Okay. I sometimes don't remember what the hell I've done. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, over here is the uh, refinery. Got all the refining stuff it needs for fuel. And that's the ocean. That's the missiles. I'm assuming that my uh, ammo bunker has uh, has ammo makers on it. Let's check. Yep, it does. Quite a few. Actually, it's not armored from the bottom, so in theory it could get hit uh, from the bottom pretty good. And no, it's not, not double layered with uh, armor. It's only got one layer of uh, alloy and one layer of wood. But still, that's pretty durable. Uh, I actually tested it. I, I spawned th both this and the starter fortress and uh, then spawned in a paddle gun to, to kill them. And the, uh, this one lasted a lot longer than the starter for fortress did. So, And it's cheaper. Alright. We'll move out here so everything's got enough room. Uh, you know the Hammerhead 3. I haven't really changed it much, I don't believe. Oh, I put a uh, put a thing on it, but uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure that works too well. I may take it off again. It doesn't seem to be actually pushing it down sufficiently. So actually, let me go ahead and just pull that off because it's not doing nothing. And now let's bring in my largest and most complex ship probably I've ever done. Uh, the Prophet. Uh, now the uh, it's a flagship, and it's which means I will be I would be on it most of the time, but uh, which is a good thing because it has a tendency to just go diving for the seafloor a lot of the time. So if it has to make a sharp turn, instead of making a sharp turn, it'll just go nose down and that's it. <laughs> that's, that's the end of it. It'll be, it'll be cozied up to the seafloor before you know it. Uh, so um, I'm going to go ahead and spawn in it. Let me go ahead and... Uh, Get a caps lock on this so we can get a good look at it. Mm -hmm. As you see, it's a fairly large submarine, uh, and um, uh, it is very ordnance heavy. Uh, so here in the front, uh, these are eight uh, torpedo tubes, and this is the, these are the big torpedoes. That these are the ones that are, I think, they're 13 units long. So, well, shit. Why did I do that? Which way are the gantries going on this one? Okay. And did I have a... No, I didn't. Uh, ejection azimuth or anything? No. Okay. Okay, so these are all uh, torpedoes here. Uh, this here, uh, this is all anti-torpedo anti, uh, Weapons, which are, they're not that that useful, but uh, if you if you wind up sitting slow and, or going slow and uh, sitting in a whole mess of them, they're they're pretty effective that way. But uh, 
It's basically because there's, there really isn't any kind of really effective um, anti-torpedo ordnance in the game right now. Uh, so, and this this thing here is here, just here as a uh, a buoyancy thing because um, it was like totally sinking like a rock. Uh, so there's that. Oh, and this is cool. Uh, oh, over here, I'll first show you this first. Over here, I have uh, missiles. And this uh, this thing is uh, this over here is mines, but it actually has a covering over it. Uh, let me show you how that works. When it approaches the enemy, see what hap what happened is I'll, I'll be a, um, I'll, I'll get, be getting my mines blown up by enemy fire before I ever get to the um, to the, the bad guys. So I wanted to protect the mines while I'm in transit to the to the ship, uh, but I wanted to open it up and, and have them fire when I was actually close enough to do some damage to the mines. So. Uh, let's see, this one is... Oh, maybe that was the wrong one. Okay, this ship is a little bit haunted. Uh, it's firing uh, weapons at enemies that aren't there. Uh, so I'm, I'm thinking I've got some... Ish yeah. I got a problem with my control block. Okay, what I'm going to do now is a set piece um, uh, to um, just kind of experiment with how uh, well the, the whole team works here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and spawn a... What? what? Nope. Load vehicle. Hammerhead 4. Don't spawn. All right. I'm also gonna uh, resp I'm gonna spawn uh, my new uh, starter fortress. The idea here is I'm just gonna spawn one of each uh, thing that I've got in my repertoire here, uh, and then load a bunch of baddies and see how well they do. Uh, let's uh, load a. I'm not going to load a, a simple flyer because it's not not armed. I will I'll load a uh, PT-109. We'll load an iron turd. Uh, we'll load a sea hunt. Uh, and finally, uh, we'll load over here. A uh, Chigger Lathrix. That's a. Uh, that's uh, not Skeeter Lathrix. A Chigger Lathrix. Where is it? There it is. So named because I, I borrowed the um, the missile design, the, the Lathrix. I call what I call the Lathrix missile from a fellow YouTuber who is known for his from the, the depths videos. So. Uh, he's much better at the game than I am. Uh, and is that it? I think that's my fleet. Okay. Now we're going to turn off the uh, raft. Don't need that. Turning off. Uh, and let's load in some bad guys. 
Uh, we'll uh, load in a paddle gun prototype. We'll load in a walrus. I don't know whether you can do multiples of these or not. Uh, we'll load in a uh, marauder. And we'll load in a uh, vanguard retrofit. Whoa, all hell is breaking loose. It's slowing down the... It's slowing down the simulation here. the hell? Why are you firing that way, guys? Ah, <coughs> uh, inbound torpedoes! Booyah! And booyah! I really need to get that paddle gun, guys. Oh, the uh, the gunboats are really um, charging in there. I'm surprised. Uh, the submarines are staying out of the fray. That's good. That's what I want. These guys are rammed into each other. That's not good. Inbound torpedoes. Booyah! I got an inbound torpedo coming into the uh, bush, uh, into the um, paddle gunner, which is really a much larger concern. Booyah! Booyah! Lots of hurt going down. Oh, lots of hurt going down over there. Yeah, the uh, uh, the uh, paddle gunners' anti-missile missiles are still um, are still um, uh, working pretty well. Okay, here comes uh, inbound. Why are you killing your own? Oh, that's your. That's not your own. That's the enemy. Never mind. That thing is tough. That's a thing. That's a walrus. Anyway, it's tough. Alright, submarines are coming in here. The uh, hammerhead and the um, uh, the uh, sea hund, and they look like they're in good shape. Meanwhile, the uh, surface ships are taking the drawing the attention of the battle, uh, so that's good. That's what I have in mind. Oh, here comes the mines! Here comes the mines, bitches! Come get your wreck, wrecks a wreck on. Come get your wreck on, bitch. How's that thing even still going? Oh, it's not. It's finished. Alright, now it's just time for the uh, the paddle gunner. These guys have, have, have stuck together, but somehow they are still alive. Uh, I don't 
don't know how that works. That's amazing. Uh, inbound torpedoes. That's what I like to see. And booyah! More inbound torpedoes. And booyah! Booyah, bitch! Alright. You guys are like humping over here. What the fuck, dudes? What are you doing? I should have put. Uh... Okay, okay, we got him. He's finished. Oh, what of my boats are underneath it? I think. No, that's part of it. All right. So paddle gunner is gone. It's gone. Dead. Okay, let me see how many boats I've got left here. All of them. Uh, the worst off is, well, Raft. <laughs> the Raft doesn't matter. Um, Trigger Lathrix is uh, virtually destroyed. Uh, which I was sort of expected. It's, 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 it's not very durable. Uh, uh, flagship um, uh, Hammerhead fi 5, I think he just hit one of his own mines, uh, is at 100%. Uh, Iron Turd is at 75 uh, PT-109 is 80. Sea Hunt is unharmed. Uh, resource Barge is at 99. That's... Um, I, I can work with that. And I, I didn't I didn't send weak weak ships after him either. I mean, I'm, Paddle Gunner is formidable. Uh, Walrus is, is very hard to kill. Um, so it was, it was a pretty good test. I am not displeased. Uh, now, uh, the 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 pay payoff here. The Sea Hunt is is probably the cheapest thing I've got out here. As as uh, well, let me not look at that. I don't know what the hell that's that's going on about. Uh, let's see, load vehicle. Sea Hunt costs seven thousand or almost eight thousand units. It's pretty damn cheap. Um, but a lot of these are more pricey. Uh, Hammerhead is fifteen grand. Uh, not bad, but you know it's it costs. Uh, PT one hundred nine at sixteen grand. And Iron Turd is eighteen grand. I think the uh, the uh, one hundred nine actually does a little better, even though it's cheaper. Um, Starter Fortress or the uh, sorry the the resource barge I call it. Where are you? That's thirty grand, but I, I, I would if I scrap the uh, the one that's already th there, the normal starter for fortress. Um, uh, I would have enough resources to to, um, to use this to build this, and um, it would be um, be a worthy thing to do, I believe, because it's uh, tougher uh, and um, better armed than the uh, starter fortress. Uh, and it's got less less waste on it. The Star Fortress has a lot of gigads, doodads, and gigaws stuck on it that use up resources. Uh, so, and it's not very durable. So I, uh, I would feel pretty good about using that instead of instead. Um, so yeah, it's just basically just a matter of um, getting enough resources to, to uh, from my site to to get a, a sort of a starter uh, selection going, which would be uh, like a uh, PT-109 uh, and a uh, either a hammer, hammerhead um, 4 or a uh, sea hunt going on. And uh, the hammerhead 4 is just way more capable than the sea hunt. The sea hunt is cheaper, of course. The hammerhead 4 is way more capable. Uh, so anyway, uh, that's, that, is my, that is my little fleet here. get these guys apart. Oh, they're going to be stuck together. They're going to be stuck together forever. Anyway, um, uh, they, they, they survived pretty well. Uh, it's unfortunate that they rammed into each other, but it didn't seem to hurt them any. Or not significantly. This might hurt a little bit. Uh, boink. Ah, 
Okay, well that's my uh, my little starter fleet, and now I've got to uh, end resource or the, in the uh, campaign, but I got to see how my resources are coming in, so I see if I can actually afford these ships. Uh, that's all for right now. Till next time, hasta la vista. Adios. Here's a bit of an addendum. I may have gotten the profits um, problems with uh, being self-navigable uh, taken care of. Uh, before it, it was very very uneven about actually like going where I tell it to go, like using the waypoints and stuff. Uh, so, um, uh, but I believe I have uh, sort of fixed his problems a little bit. Uh, hopefully, it still doesn't have the um, the sinking to the bottom of the depths uh, problem that it used to have. Uh, but right now it's not even at its cruising depth, so that's that's not a problem. So maybe, fingers crossed, it's actually fixed and I can use it on AI control instead of having it actually sit in the submarine in order to make it work. Alright. Okay, more bonus footage. Uh, I'm going to do um, the uh, profit against a paddle gunner. I expect the paddle gunner to win, uh, but uh, we'll find out. Actually, it's a paddle gun prototype, not the the other paddle gun, the godly paddle gun. I'll just do a paddle gun prototype. Taking control. And there comes lots of missiles. Hope they're not premature. Has got anti missile missiles, so maybe only half of those will make it in. We got a lot of torpedoes coming their way. They're actually trying to shoot down the torpedoes? That's pretty amazing. Now, the paddle gunners are, are really amazing. Uh, it's an amazing boat. Uh, here comes another load of whoop ass. Boosh, boosh. No, that one deflected. And that is the, the force of what a full torpedo salvo can do. That right there is what a full torpedo salvo can do on this thing. Now let's see if I've got, still got a ship here. All right, here comes another torpedo salvo. I have no idea how bad off the uh, the profit is, uh, but I assume it's not too bad. It's still unloading torpedoes. And here we come, baby! Open wide! Boosh, 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 boosh. Alright, how are you doing, Prophet? Relatively good shape. And the Prophet wins. Will the torpedoes make it there in time? Nope, they won't. That missile will. I am actually surprised. In a straight up fair fight without any uh, I don't know why the hell you're shooting more stuff off but everything's dead but uh, in a uh, straight up fair fight without any kind of surface vessels to cover for it uh, it beat a paddle gunner I am, I am duly surprised and it seems to have taken relatively little damage uh, I guess maybe these uh, anti-torpedo things are working because it used to be the, tor they're, they're, uh, the paddle gunner's torpedoes would just kick my ass uh, so I may have gotten, gotten good with these uh, anti-torpedo things uh, Alright, that's all.